the expedition with me, Ibrahim Ajara, traveling to discover and explore the characterful outlook of the Smiling Coast. We're meeting Charlie all day. He is a Danish traveler who has been crisscrossing the Western Hemisphere in his journey towards Africa. Now, Charlie Ulde managed to walk most part of the Western Hemisphere right into Africa. He's gonna be telling us about this journey and the reason he is traveling around the continent in a major discovery of Africa. Now, Charlie Ulde, uh, tell us, what is the purpose of this journey? The purpose of the journey is to raise money and it's not to uh, raise money for myself, it's to raise money for water in Africa. Four years ago I was living in a village in Tanzania where the local people have to walk 19 kilometers to the nearest source of clean water. So I thought something must be done about this. It cannot be true that some people uh, don't even have clean water and other people have uh, so much. So uh, I was thinking, how can I raise this money? And I came up with the idea of this concept, walking for water. Basically, I'm walking from Denmark to Tanzania, more than 18,000 kilometers through 29 countries. Uh, and this journey itself is spectacular enough to provide media attention like here. And this media attention, I can turn into money from sponsors. That is uh, basically the 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 reason for the walk but of course it's also a personal adventure for me I learn a lot of things from traveling like this and it's my personal dream to be a full-time adventurer so it's it's the combination between passion and compassion it's really wonderful to be able to walk for water for a charitable sake a philanthropic sake that seeks to help other parts of the world in dire need that's wonderful now tell me how uh, did you come up with this idea the idea came after the task itself. I, I uh, promised these people in this village in, in Tanzania that I will try to, to help them to get a water supply system. So the first thing I had to do was to find out how much will this cost, how are we going to build it and so and so. What exactly you were going to do to get secure the funds. Yes. yes. And, uh, and how was the response? I mean, walking now from the Western hemif Hemisphere, from Europe into Africa. There's two major continents you're traversing. It's not much water to cross, really. It's uh, it's it's, uh, it's into the Gibraltar Strait. It takes 40 minutes or so, and then I have been crossing uh, some uh, like the Senegal River and the river here to to Banyul by boat. But beside that, it's only walking, and the 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 way of traveling uh, by walk. Uh, allows you to meet many different people. You don't get invited in either uh, the same way as I do. I never pay to sleep. I just uh, camp in the nature or I get invited in by local people and that, that gives me some unique cultural and natural uh, experiences. Of course. banquero hacer de las cuentas sus trincheras aferrado a cadenas doradas que no quiere soltar levantando imperios y castillos en la arena y él está caminando por agua y él está Los propios hermanos 
Estudiantes aprendiendo sobre unos por segundas manos Mismos estudios de siempre que dicen lo que debes saber Ansiosos de dirigir desde afuera y sin perder Y él está solo caminando por agua 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 countries did you have the most fun in because uh, you have really exciting countries along the way actually my time here in Gambia has been uh, the most interesting uh, and it's my 11th country on this journey so so it's not something that I I just say uh, you've been here the past few weeks I've been here for three and a half weeks now I was just thinking the Gambia you're talking about its peaceful nature it's also called the smiling coast of Africa really peaceful like you said and absolutely hospitable because you must have been living in the heart of the city you know the people and how they open up their hearts for everyone who comes to their environment. Uh, what would you recommend to a person who's never discovered, seen this beautiful country before, never experienced the joy of a sunny day like this? <laughs> um, I would recommend to visit the Happy Corner in Banyul, next, next to the Atlantic Hotel, Old Atlantic Hotel, because then you will meet some local boys, you will meet the local people, you will eat local and cheap, and you will uh, get some good stories. So you met someone, that's your friend, that's you just my, met. That's my man, Mohammed, and he met me, he met me at, the, at the beach. The first night I came, the first night I came to Banyul, I was just sleeping at the beach <laughs> in my hammock, but then the next morning, Mohammed came and, hey, you want uh, a tire? Come to Happy Corner. And since I, I've been uh, living in his uh, rented little one room and we've been sharing the same bed for the last three weeks. Now. Great people, they're really nice. <laughs> now, 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 now tell me, uh, working for charity, I mean, that, that, that's, that's an imagined thing. A lot of people are embarking on uh, walking exercises, marathon exercises, uh, hiking, you know, mountain climbing yes. for the sake of charity. This is wonderful. I mean, when you are able to go out, you know, in this kind of way, mm -hmm. I mean, 
to, 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 to not just impact uh, a positive cause, but you do so by exploration, by discovery, either walking, hiking, you know, that sort of thing. What makes outing and charity so close? I think what makes it close is that, 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 that I and other people make the decision to combine it. And this Walking for Water project uh, has become now an organization that will uh, serve as a platform for other people who would like to do something similar. Basically, I had a lot of, uh, of startup working by making website, getting followers, uh, getting uh, volunteers uh, in the organization to help with administrative stuff. But for the next people who want to do something similar, they can use all these things and, and will get an easier start. So if someone... Uh, Are you talking about a group, probably? Like walking in a group, a bigger group? No. Someday no. in the future? No, I don't, I don't uh, want people to walk in one group but I want people to create their own journeys if you already know you want to make a ex extreme voyage not necessarily to Tanzania it could be from anywhere to anywhere then you can just as well try to combine it with charity that is that is the model I'm trying to prove is working now and if it it proves successful then I think uh, it will be uh, attractive to other people to do the same so.